Hey, what's up? Antonio Thompson here from AntonioRThompson.com. I'm coming to you from my home office here in Brooklyn, New York. Today, I want to share with you and show you how to find your Facebook pixel. Uh, Facebook has made some changes to uh, the ads manager uh, recently, and I wanted to show you how to find that pixel. If you go to um, the top of your page here, um, there's a question mark, and then there's a, a drop down. Click the drop down. I'm going to go to manage ads and then you're going to click on uh, the top left where it says Facebook ads. There's like a hamburger stack. Uh, go to all tools, click on pixels. And so when you come here and click on details. And then on the top right, right below where it says create ad, it's gonna say create setup. And it's gonna um, open up a box here. And you can use, it says use an integration or a tag manager or copy and paste the, co the code. Click on copy and paste the code. It's gonna open up the base code. And here it is. You just simply click on it and copy the keyboard, uh, copy the clipboard, and you paste this uh, in the header of the pages you want to track. Now you may also want to track events on your uh, your website, right? If someone um, becomes a lead, if they buy a product, if they you know uh, add something to the cart, if they search, right? You want you might want to track that. And so there are, there are three um, levels of of uh, installing this event code into your uh, your website. There's the basic, the recommended, and the advanced. With the basic, it's just going to track the action. So let's say I wanted to uh, track registrations. I would just copy this, and then you would just go back to your code here and just paste it at the bottom. Oops, I just pasted it twice. I don't know why it showed twice, but it should only paste once. Okay. If I wanted to do the recommended, which is if I had a price attached to it, right? So if I say Complete registration, the value was 25 bucks. I would just copy that. I will remove this one here and then paste that there. Okay, I actually pasted twice, don't know why I was doing that. Um, but it would just paste once. You want it there once. Uh, let's remove this one here because I'm not sure why it's going twice. And there it is, that's what you would do. You would just actually just copy this and put it in the head tag of the page you want to track. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, let me know, drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.